Hello, and welcome to this in-depth walkthrough of Bass Rift by Instant Audio, the ultimate solution for powering up your bass lines. With Bass Rift, we've redefined the boundaries of bass engineering, offering you unparalleled control and creativity in sculpting the backbone of your music. Bass Rift has seven main sections. The first three at the top are the effects. Flow, space, and heat have their own respective sets of effects that complement one another. These effects have been fine-tuned to work seamlessly on bass. Their surrounding buttons represent the type selector. This allows you to control the rate or amount of the selected effect using their secondary knobs. Their primary knobs, on the other hand, control the overall effect of the respective section on the signal. Let's start with the first effect section, flow. Flow is where you add movement and motion to the signal. It consists of a chorus, flanger, phaser, and wobble filter. Space is where you add temporal and spatial effects to the signal. It consists of a delay, reverb, comb filter, and reverse delay. And last of the three, we have heat. Heat is where you can distort and saturate your signal. It consists of a tube saturator, bit crusher, wave folder, and digital distortion. Below, we have split, routing, safe bass, and merge. These sections are where you manage, filter, and enhance the signal coming from the three effects sections. Split has a variable crossover to split the signal between the three effects and safe bass. The red part here is the frequency where the three effects take place, whereas the blue part at the bottom retains its original content, which you can further enhance via the safe bass section. More on that later. On the left, is where you have control over the frequency split. Right below is where you choose the slope of your crossover split. Six decibels for a gentle split and 48 decibels for a more aggressive crossover split. Input low controls the input gain for the low band that routes through the safe base. Input high controls the input gain for the high band that routes through the three effects above. Clicking solo will mute the others, which is useful for checking what each one is contributing to the overall sound. Safe bass is where you can enhance the dynamics of the low frequencies as determined in the split section mentioned previously. Comp controls the amount of compression. The compression algorithm here is modeled after a vintage classic compressor known for its bass punch. Enhance controls the amount of harmonic saturation. This enhances the clarity of the sub to make it stand out in the genre you are working on, if required. This is also quite useful for ensuring the signal translates properly on smaller playback systems. Mono controls the low-end signal activity in the stereo field. At 100%, it means it is completely in mono, which is typical for low frequencies. Right above it, we have the routing section. Its function is fairly straightforward. It is where you manage the sequence of the three effects sections. You can have space before flow, heat before flow, and so on. Double-clicking the effect will deactivate it, and doing the same once more will reactivate it. The last section is Merge. It is where everything is fused together. The three knobs at the top control low shelf, mid peak, and high shelf EQ. They are modeled after a classic tube equalizer specifically designed for low frequency sounds. Right below it, we have high pass and low pass controls ranging from the typical 20 Hz to 20 kHz range. DMUD controls the amount of reduction of muddy and boxy frequencies. Maximize controls the amount of the maximizer, which is a multi-band limiter designed to flatten the frequency response and increase loudness. Output controls the plugin's final gain. The merge section eliminates the need to add an EQ and compressor after the plugin to make these basic adjustments, simplifying your effects chain. Please note that in the oversampling section in the upper right corner, we have two buttons that you might find useful for your overall bass sound. Clip enables a hard clipper on the output of the plugin, preventing your signal from going above zero decibels. AGC enables automatic gain compensation, matching the output signal with the input signal's loudness, protecting you from the misconception that something sounds better simply because it is louder. Also, just like the rest of our plugins, Bass Rift has built-in presets that have been professionally crafted for your basic needs. 
This could help save you time or help you find a good foundation for the specific effect that you are looking for. Let's listen to some of it. Besides the presets, you can click the randomize button to find the one that fits your preference. The two buttons before it are the undo and redo buttons, pretty self-explanatory. The first three buttons are for storing different settings, which is very useful if you find two good settings and want to listen to each one in the context of the entire mix to determine which one fits better. So there you have it. There are endless possibilities to what you can do with this plugin, and I'll leave the rest for you to explore. Grab your 15-day fully functional trial version at unitedplugins.com.